Congratulations Vaishnav on securing All India Rank 18 in EC 2021 from Civil Engineering Branch. Thank you, ma'am. Tell us about the moment when you got to know about the result. Anxiety, which was after the interviews, was very high. And uh, I was expecting the results. But to get a rank under 20 and rank of 18, I was really surprised when I saw my name in the list. And I, th I thanked to my parents and God for granting me a huge amount of success in my, in my career. Tell us about your journey for preparing engineering services and what was unique about your strategy. First was the coverage of syllabus. I covered my syllabus, syllabus extensively so that any topic is not left out. And since the competition is very high, one cannot uh, leave any other topics which can, which uh, since the questions come from each and every topic in the examination. Secondly, I focused too much on practice so that while giving the examination, not a, every question seems as if I have practiced before and I am able to do it, uh, do it with respect to the time management also. And hence, uh, as a result of which I, I could complete all my papers within the time limit. And I think that this was one of the main reasons why I succeeded in engineering services examination 2021. Why did you choose ESE over other career choice? I passed from IIT Delhi. I had a huge number of placement offers from IITs, IITs itself, but I wanted to pursue my career in the government sector since it provides me a wide amount of opportunities in various departments of central government, which carry out a good number of projects in and around the country. And as a result of which, I was highly motivated towards engineering service examination. Secondly, it provides a very good amount of prestige in the society and hence I opted for engineering services examination and I opted for ESC as a career. What was your study schedule and how did you prioritize all your subjects? Study schedule, I can say that was not fixed according to the time such as morning or afternoon or evening. I just focused that within a particular day, I am able to devote six to eight hours of study. In the six to eight hours of study, I divided my time in two sections in which 70 to 80 percent of the time was for covering the new syllabus or the new portions which i moved forward and the rest was was on revising the uh, the context which i have already read before and as a by following this strategy i completed my syllabus and this is how i used to study after the completion of syllabus i started uh, doing the test series of ies master and I rigorously gave the test series of two to three, or past two to three years of IES master. And hence, with, with this uh, strategy, I completed my whole syllabus and then I went for the examination. Which program you were part here at IES master? Mainly opted for the test series in which I appeared in the prelims test series. I appeared in the mains test series. And I opted for that. I, and I opted the test series for past two to three years. The level of questions and the quality of questions was very appropriate, which helped me to ascertain my level of, of preparation, which I was uh, going through. And the level of questions were up to the mark with respect to the UPSC pattern. And hence, IES master guided me a lot during the preparation. With respect to the interview guidance program, which I joined, it provided the same environment approximately with respect to UPSC which helped me to ace the interviews and finally crack engineering services examination. Overall, I would like to say that IES master provided a very nice background or nice support to my preparation, which helped me to come out, with, come out of the exam with flying colors and a good rank of 18. Tell us about your experience in UPSC interview hall. As the panel members, they, are, they, look, they seem very friendly in the interviews and they uh, don't pressurize pressurize you towards giving the answers or something and hence uh, the atmosphere was very relaxing and since I had previously uh, uh, given interviews in IES master and hence the nothing surprising element was not there in the UPSC which helped me to ace the interviews. There were a lot many questions asked in the interviews some related to practical problems some related to general topics and a few of them are, I can recall which I liked the liked one 
generally we observe that people don't like to go in uh, pre- preferably in border road organization hence the chairperson asked me that whether you will go for border road engineering sir border road services or not and a quite good discussion took place on this matter and i found it really interesting while discussing this with the panel members and some of some good practical problems were very were asked to and i gave some of it but some of it i could not answer but overall it was a very good experience what was your study schedule during last month of preparation i feel that during the last month of the preparation people feel a lot of people feel very much anxious regarding the exams and hence i had pre planned this uh, last month and i had maj- uh, mostly focused on giving the test series and uh, my 80% of the time for the last month went on practicing for the test series and rest 20% of the time i used to find the mistakes which i did and inculcate and incorporated in my short notes and i didn't find giving the test series a very tiring job with respect to revision yes i find a found revision very boring and hence i had thought that i in the last month i will go only for the test series and hence by opting this strategy my last month was very comfortable since we are engineers and we uh, don't get bored by solving questions and hence i preferred this strategy which helped me pass the last one month of the examination very easily how was your strategy in exam hall strategizing the questions i would like to say that since last time i i uh, appeared in the mains exam and i did a very big blunder of not uh, choosing the questions properly and hence in the in the upcoming test series of 2021 of ies master i gave a lot number of tests in which i practiced various alternatives of selecting questions various methods such that i will do the compulsory part first or i will do the compulsory part at the last i opted a, few, a number of uh, permutation and combination i can say and with the help of this i came to a particular uh, strategy that i will adopt this one only in the exam if and if uh, something uh, very different comes in the exam then i will look into it but if it comes more or less the same then i will opt a particular strategy which i had opted in the test series yes with respect to anxiety also last year i was very anxious regarding the examination and hence i i, I made a huge number of blunders in the exam but this year with god's grace i was uh, very much focused on my examination and since a lot many lot many tests i had already given hence i didn't feel much anxiety during the examinations and i think this was one of the main reasons that i didn't commit a huge number of mistakes and hence i uh, cleared the examination with good rank tell us about your college life i did my btech from iit delhi the iit delhi provided me a huge am- amount of exposure with respect to various uh, factors and hence i find my college life very much useful and it contributed a lot towards my engineering services examination preparation also and and, and uh, iit is provide a very huge a very good atmosphere for academics also and hence it uh, it provided me a good background for engineering services tell us about your schooling i did my schooling from ranchi itself uh, I, I, my school my school was a very good one since a lot many facilities in the schools were also there the teachers were very up to the mark and hence i was a, i was in a very good environment since my schooling life or schooling life only and due to which i was able to clear je advance in 2015 with a very good rank and hence by the virtue of which i got iit delhi civil engineering and thereafter i went to do btech and thereafter my journey towards the engineering services was as follows what are your future goals my future goal is to make sure that i perform very good in the department which i would be allocated and make sure that i would that i will work in very good projects and contribute to that towards the nation development how did ias master help you during your engineering services exam preparation apart from my parents and friends ias master was a kind of a guardian to me and as as a i can say that because in every phase of the examination be it prelims be it mains or be it in the interviews ias master has guided me a lot and to the future aspirants i can say that they can blindly trust ias master regarding their preparations and you can trust them as they regularly keep their uh, uh, materials their question papers their test series updated with respect to upsc and hence Uh, ias master provides a very good support for the 
engineering services examination and i am very much thankful to ias master for this you have been an excellent student here at ias master we thank you so much for giving us time and for sharing your experience god bless you thank you ma'am